Thank you, Scott. And coming up next on The Beat Goes On, we welcome David Clark from Slimmer's Edge. David is a personal trainer and gym owner and is ready to pick up the pieces after the feasting and the drinking of the Christmas period. David has some great ideas to keep you out of trouble during this season of temptation. Dave Clark, how are you? How are you, Gerard? My fitness man. Yes. Are you succeeding? <laughs> uh, I'm not as good as I could be, am I, Dave? I'm a, I'm a recalcitrant exerciser, aren't I? Um, I've had a few issues with the foot, we've, but uh, yeah. we're working on it. Look, Nick, there's always next year. That's right. Always next year. Is that the excuse you're always here? Oh, look, I think it's just better to do it now. Do it now. Even on the holidays, there's no excuse. Yeah. Keep active. Yeah. You're a, you're a man that loves exercise, you love good food, you love... The, the body is a temple. The I like to have fun as well. But, yeah, you but like I think have fun. It, I think there's three things. You've, you've got to keep active. Yeah. You've got to keep the salads in there because, especially over the Christmas period, we're always um, leaning towards barbecues and big Christmas dinners and things. And I think the salad fills up the plate yeah. and helps digest the food. Yeah. And um, keep hydrated. Well, uh, David, you're on the program today because this is the time to eat, drink, and to be merry, and to forget about all those things, but there's, <coughs> we're all going to pay a price. So you're here today to advise us baby boomers on uh, what we can do to so we can eat guilt-free this year. <laughs> <laughs> guilt-free. Well, I don't know why we incessantly eat so much on Christmas Day and so forth. To me, it's... Well, it's all there, isn't it? It's you all can't there, help yourself. but... But um, I, I think you've just got to keep some level of control and plan a lovely celebration. And the, the, the thing with Christmas really is it's spending time with family and friends. It doesn't need to be just eating. In fact, I find it a bit, a bit over the top to just have food, three desserts coming at you all the time. It's just nice to think, plan a lovely meal and, and spend time with, with the, the family and friends. And I think also um, the biggest thing, let's face it, is drinking too much. I think if you have a nana that, uh, is, is a designated nana, so, so instead of a <laughs> designated driver, you need someone to bring tea out at the right time. Yeah. And don't ask anyone, just bring the tea out, big tray, and would you, that, would that'll you, stop Would you like time. a cup of tea, dear? Cup of cup of tea, there, love. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're don't ask. Everyone yeah. will say no because they want to keep drinking. But I think if you just bring out a cup of tea or something to just, you know, level things out, just manage over drinking. If the overdrinking and the overeating does occur, you've got a great little establishment in Anzac Avenue called Slimmer's which Edge. I've been there many times called Slimmer's Edge. Now, what's this what's the edge? What's the edge all about? Today? Well, keeping you focused. We've got walking groups, we've got the vibration training, we've got um, various different activities to keep you motivated and diet advice, so there's cooking recipes going out every week and um, you know, ideas with water, fat flush ideas. I do cooking seminars, teaching people about various things on, on fat, breaking down fats in, in the body and helping with the tummy fit, foods that are um, pickled and so forth to get the digestive system working back, back on track. Why do baby boomer men, and I, they've all got big stomachs, haven't they? Where, where, where's the, where does that come from? <laughs> Well, it's not, it's not sit-ups. Cause a lot it's not sit-ups. It's not sit-ups, No, it? a, yeah. a lot of men are very fit. You, you look at their body and they've got really good tone in their le legs and arms. They've got that and they think they're fat, but yeah. it's actually in, intestine swelling. So that's, that's henceforth. One of the big things I teach is how to get the good bacteria into the intestines. Let's stop there. Intestine swelling. Sounds like a pretty bad thing to happen, but of course it's, uh, nobody feels any pain as a result of intestine swelling, do they? Well, if you look at how much Coca-Cola and how much various fizzy drinks and um, foods that just are out of season, tropical fruits, fruit juice, the diet has changed tremendously in the last sort of 50 years. And back then you didn't see so much of the bloat, but uh, it's, it's about keeping those foods down, drinking more water, and, um, I, and I believe the biggest thing is, is getting good pickles back into the New Zealand culture. Pickles? Absolutely. Oh. Every culture's had pickles right through Asia, right through, you know, the Europeans, Russia, right through, and uh, New Zealand, America, Australia and England forgot to make the pickles. What's in the pickle that makes uh, life? Bacteria. Bacteria. Good, oh, okay. alive culture. And, and that helps the digestive system, doubles its ability to, to, to digest the food. And uh, it's tremendous help. You know, you, what we're doing here is just overloading the system. When, the, when your in, tummy is swollen, you're not healthy. You're looking at an unhealthy man. <laughs> we can fix it. 
Come to Slimmer's Edge. Yes. Now, if you, uh, uh, if you are to go to Slimmer's Edge, we need to know where to go and how to get hold of you, Dave, on the telephone. So go to www.slimmersedge.co.nz. But give us the telephone number just in case. It's 093091177. Say that slowly, David. 093091111. That's pretty easy. Double seven. <laughs> Couldn't be easier. No. For our Beat Goes On viewers, what about, uh, this is Christmas time, let's be generous, what about uh, what about giving away uh, some membership for Slimmer's Edge? What about six of our lucky viewers could win one month at Slimmer's Edge and have, come and have a chat to you? Fantastic idea, because that actually gets the, the whole year into the right motion, yeah. and after that, uh, you know, you'll be motivated to continue on through the year. So we need a question, and uh, what is the name of your gym? Slimmer's Edge. So it's simple. All you have to do is email Jared at the beat goes on. Jared at the beat goes on. And the answer is Slimmer's Edge. And six of our lucky viewers can go and visit Dave and have one month at the, at the uh, gym free of charge. I'd love to see them. And when those six people come through, I'll really look after them. Hey, David, uh, I'm going to do my best to watch that Christmas Day and, um, uh, you know, not be so merry. <laughs> Very good. And, uh, and to visit you in the new year and repair all the damage. And three things. Keep active, keep the salads rolling, and keep hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> See you okay, there. Thanks, David. Bye-bye.